Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be using this reference photo for my painting. First I will be drawing my horizon line somewhere around the middle and then pre-wet my paper with a clean water. With a larger flat brush, mine is actually number 22, I will be painting straight horizontal lines and using color azure from white nights. As you can see, I'm leaving the part around the horizon line lighter and parts at the top and bottom where my C is darker. Next thing I will paint with sap green and raw sienna around the horizon line and also go into my blue. As you will see, I was struggling with this painting and I'm not happy with how it turned out. But, you know, sometimes struggling with the painting is part of the process and it will happen. Just don't beat yourself up because of that. While the paint in the C part is still wet, I'm going in with a slightly wet brush and making some horizontal strokes so I can mimic the reflections of the sun in the sky and make some lighter parts. After that, I'm using a wipe and picking up some paint so I can make an impression of clouds. And also making vertical strokes with my wipe for some sun rays. I'm dipping my wipe in paint and pressing it against my paper to leave these marks that will look like shadows in the clouds. At the end this turned out to be fully unnecessary but it happens when you paint sometimes you do something that turned out to be unnecessary, some things give a more texture, some things don't. It is what it is, it happens. After the paint dried, I privated the paper and making some shadows and texture to my clouds. For that, I'm using a smaller round brush and making round wiggly strokes. I'm using the mix of Azure and Indigo and those are the only two colors I will be using for the clouds and later on for the sea. When the paint fully dry, I'm adding some texture to my C and I'm doing it with a script brush in the way that I am slightly sliding on the top of the paper with only with the tip of my brush and then pressing it harder using the side of my brush and again lifting it up and sliding with the tip. That is the way to get some beautiful textures and impression of the waves on the sea. With the sap green I am emphasizing the horizon line and after that I am just using smaller round brush and smudging the paint and only at the bottom on the lower side of my line not also on the top and then just adding a little bit more that sap green into my sea. A little bit more interest to my clouds, a little bit more texture, a little bit more shadows. I also wanted to darken my sea, so I'm adding azure to it. And if you can you can see I'm doing it only on the sides, on the lower part of the sea, the one that is closer to us, and on the sides, leaving the white space in the middle. At this moment I am going in with a script brush and making shadows while the sea is still wet and well I suppose you can see that that is pretty much a mistake 
so just keep in mind to leave it to dry just a little bit it should not be dry but it should not be as wet as mine was because you will get those bleeds and right now and right here that is not exactly what we want so I'm just a little bit struggling with that and that is something I suppose you should keep in mind to make highlights I used a white gouache and a script brush and made most of them in the part where my C is already lighter and less in the parts where it's darker. Now the clouds were looking too pale, so I decided to add a little bit more pigment to them, also using Azure and Indigo. And I think at the end it did look better, it did turn out to be better. And I also added a little bit more shadows or a little bit more texture to my waves. I must admit I wasn't too happy with this painting, but I still wanted to show you because I want you to know that there are those days when you just try to paint something and it's just not working. It, it doesn't work. I paint, painted a lot of seascapes and well it happens to me still. It happens to me that sometimes I just try to do something and it's not working and I do make mistakes also and I wanted to show you this. I wanted to let you know that there is always a way to get out of them. You, to get out of your mistake but they, they will happen they will happen and when you are not happy with your painting you should just keep up and finish it because you have to let go of that I would say a bad energy you have to get rid of it you have to get rid of that I can't do it and next painting will be better just finish your painting don't leave it because you will transfer that I can't do it to your next painting and it won't it won't turn out to be good also so just well get out get it out of your system and paint the paint this one until the end and when you're finished it is out and well you're done with the bad painting <laughs> so okay uh, with this I'll be finishing off with my video thank you guys a lot for watching for sticking till the end and please like this video, share, comment and if you haven't still subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate that a lot and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!